Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful pencil themed project to share with you using the Just a Note stamp set along with the Just a Note coordinating die. So I'm gonna be featuring just mainly that pencil image on this, although there's a lot of fabulous images. I love school supplies, always have. I think probably most crafty people do, right? When it was back to school time, which we just had here, it was my favorite time to just go up and down the aisle and pick out the perfect folder. And I love new markers and pencils and pens and all that jazz. We just did that with Emma. And I'm gonna be stamping this pencil repeatedly. I'm gonna be using Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I am using my Misty and a panel of white cardstock. I'm actually using Hammer Mill white cardstock. Uh, I found that Hammer Mill works great with Copic coloring, which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but any white cardstock that you have that's good for Copics. If you don't want a Copic, you could watercolor these or use Zig Clean Color markers. However you like to color. If there was a stencil, I might consider blending the color, but going to do some Copic. So what I'm doing here with my Misty is I'm just raising the panel of white cardstock a half an inch after I stamp it. I just raise it a half an inch and I use those ruler measure guides on the side of the Misty for the measurement. And now you can see that first, the, the space between that first pencil and the second pencil, it's not an even measurement. That's because my panel of white cardstock wasn't really trimmed to a perfect size on the Misty. Whatever the case, I'm gonna end up trimming off that pencil because that spacing issue right there, that's the kind of stuff that just makes me get a twitch in my eye. Uh, anywho, so I went ahead and stamped a whole row of pencils. In my mind, I was thinking I was gonna die cut all of these. But after I got done coloring them, I realized I kind of fell in love with them just flat on the panel as is. But now we're doing the Copic. And most of the time I fast forward when I color because I do color slow, but this was kind of a unique coloring project and then I didn't really do any blending. I just chose three shades in each color family. So I have my three shades of pink here. You can see the marker caps if you want to know exactly what colors I used. But I painted that first stripe in the pencil the lightest shade and then the one to the left the second darker and then the one I'm doing now is the darkest. So you kind of get that look of shadow without really doing any blending. So if you struggle with blending this is a great project to just, you know, color, just color, flat color. Okay, so now we're moving on to the reds because I'm working my way through the pencil rainbow. And um, yeah, so we got R30, R32, and R35. I don't show all of the coloring. I was very, very, very tempted to speed this up. But I have heard around the crafty corner that a lot of people enjoy watching the videos and I actually do myself when it's regular speed, especially if someone's painting or coloring, I kind of like it. It's a little more relaxing. So, but as the creator, I, I always worry that people are getting bored to tears and that's when story time comes in handy. Okay, so we've got the yellow. Now I'm, not, I'm saying that these are gonna be pencils, not colored pencils, because they have the eraser. Although I will tell you, when I was shopping for school supplies with Emma, I realized now they have colored pencils with erasers on the end. And that's a new one for me. But uh, I, I still buy her the standard old just Crayola. But now it's like, do you want a 12 pack? Do you want a 24 pack? Do you want a 155 pack? <laughs> Everything you gotta have so many decisions, you know? But she is in seventh grade now. She's had a week under her belt of junior high. Took her a few days to get the kinks out with working the locker, okay? That was a new one for her, but she's got it. She's so proud of herself. Working the locker, doing, you know, you switch with all the classrooms, so you gotta know where you're going and all that stuff. A lot of big changes, and now they're changing clothes for PE. You know what was on the list? The school supply list? Deodorant. So I told her, I said, going to have to get you some deodorant. Now, here's another one where there's a lot of decisions. I just get the cheap one, because you, you know how I just find the cheapest deodorant. But she was like, what about a spray deodorant, Mom? Well, those are like triple the price. And then you can get the all-natural. Those are like $12 a tube. And I'm like, can we just... 
can we rein it in on the deodorant spending? I mean, come on. Okay, so now I'm coloring all the wood on the pencils with the E50 and then a little stripe of shade just for a bit of shadow. Now for the eraser, I'm doing R01. Color the whole eraser with R01. And then I take that R02 and I give it just a little once over on the side. Just a little bit, just a little dab will do. And, and then I kind of blend it out. But I'm not being real precise with this. This is all about easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm thinking I might send this card to my oldest daughter, Alex. She's in her senior year at college. And this would be a fun card to send in the mail. I've been kind of bad about it. I pro I'm not even going to tell you how many cards I've sent her because it's, it's shameful. I should be sending her one all the time. I remember back when I went to college and, and my mom's not even a card maker, but she would buy a lot of cards and she would send me a card all the time. I'm not going to say once a week, but it was often. And, and here I am, here I am a card maker. And what have I got to show for it? Just pathetic. Okay, so, um, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do today. I am going to get my hair cut. It's been like a year and a half, and I think I've let myself go. And you know what happens, but that's okay. I'm going to go get a nice, good old healthy trim, maybe a few layers, and uh, yeah, just spice it up with a haircut. Who knew? Okay, so I trim off this edges, and now this is where I'm going to trim off that extra pencil that had the wonky spacing because it was just chapping my khakis is what it was okay so I trim this down and then what I'm going to do is pop this up on a craft or khaki card base whatever your craft card stock is called I believe the sign is a stamp craft card stock is called khaki now for a sentiment I'm using that same uh, take note stamp set there's a few great sentiments in there I like the boldness of it this is going to be just a note I stamped it with versifying onyx black on a white card stock I'm using some of that new very low tack tape uh, to hold down the coordinating die, trim that out, and then I'm just going to pop this up just smack dab right in the middle. I contemplated to put it down on the bottom right corner, but I thought, you know what, today, doing it in the middle. Now I'm going to emboss a coordinating little sub sentiment, which is also in the take note. There's a few that really go well, and I think this one says, I think you're awesome. And this is a great card to send to your kid going back to school. Also could be a great card to send to a teacher. Because let me tell you, those teachers need to be told that they are awesome. They really do. Okay, a little bit of foam tape, just a smidge. And I'm going to tuck it right underneath that larger sentiment. No embellishments needed. By the way, all the supplies that I use will be listed in the description box below. And there you have a fun, colorful little back to school, little teacher, little pencil loving project. Hey, just to note, I think you're awesome. I really do. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.